Good afternoon and welcome to our Harrow College Virtual Open Day for Health and Social Care and Child Care. It's great to have you with us today. Before we start, just a little bit of housekeeping. We are recording the session today, so uh, if you've missed anything, don't worry, you'll be able to catch that back up. And also, we are happy to take questions, so we are using the chat box functionality today. So if you do have any questions, please pop those in the chat box and we'll answer those at the end. But before we get started, just going to give an introduction to the college from our principal, Pat. Hello everyone, my name is Pat Carvello and I'm principal here at Harrow College. And I'm very pleased to welcome you to this virtual open day session. Now I am aware that lockdown has been a very difficult time for you, particularly as you've been trying to ensure you gain the qualifications that you set out to achieve. And I do hope that this turns out well for you. But now is the time for you to think about your plans for next year's study and putting those into action. And this virtual session is here to help you do this. You have a, wide, uh, a lot of career options open to you. And here at Harrow College, we have a wide range of academic, vocational and technical uh, qualifications over a, a number of levels that are here to meet your interests and your abilities. We have a great track record with a consistently high performance over the last five years. And we have been the highest performing college in London for 16 to 19 year old students over the last two years. Plus our A-level scores in English and maths progress are amongst the highest in the country. And we're very proud of this, hugely down to the success of our teaching and support staff. Our teaching staff are specialists in their subject areas and bring with them a vital industry experience that will help our students to achieve. And alongside this, we have high quality support that also provides help to students to succeed and to progress. We are constantly investing in our facilities to ensure that they are fit for purpose and are of industry standard. And our social and recreational facilities are here for students to enjoy when they're not in lessons. So our staff are here to help you with our wide range of options and we will assist you to find a suitable place here at the college according to your qualifications, your abilities, and most importantly, a course that is of interest to you and one that you can succeed in. I hope this session gives you a flavour of what is on offer here at Harrow College. And if you'd like to join, and if you'd like to join us, I would encourage you to apply early to secure your place. So I look forward to meeting you in person in September. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. So just as Pat mentioned, a, a couple of bits about the college, just to give you a flavour before I hand over to my curriculum colleagues to talk about health and social care and childcare. As Pat mentioned, we are number one in London. We're really proud of this at Harrow College. This is for the second year running that the DfE have uh, confirmed that we're number one for our achievement rates for our 16 to 18 year olds. Alongside that, we are the second largest college, um, FE college in London. But as we've said, we're number one for our achievement rates, but we're also number one for our value added for our A-levels and also our English and our maths scores. We were first and third as well. And all of those three, we were top 10 in the country. So I think it really goes to show that we have a great track record of success here at Harrow College. Our students also are really pleased to study with us. And we came first in the FE Choices Survey Student Satisfaction Survey for London. So that's a really good achievement as well. And above all, our students go on to great things. So a little bit about our courses, and you'll hear more about the specific curriculum area today, but our courses are really designed to give you a fantastic future and they want, we want to help you progress. So whether you're looking to go to higher education at university, perhaps onto an apprenticeship or straight into the world of work, our courses can help to prepare you. Not only do you have your main qualification, but also some additional things that go alongside your course, perhaps some English and maths, employment skills, you might have the opportunity for some work experience, and there'll be enrichment and progression support all to help you achieve and do well. And we've got great links with our employers as well. So as I said, opportunities for work experience, maybe a placement, guest speakers coming into the classroom, plus trips and visits all enhance what you're learning in the classroom and prepare you for the world of work. But above all, we want to support and encourage you to work hard and achieve your goals. As you've heard a little bit already, um, our uh, facilities at Tarot College are fantastic. 
They're industry standard and we've got well-equipped classrooms, workshops, studios and specialist workspaces. If you're interested in health and care and social care um, and childcare, you will be able to study in fantastic new buildings that are really well equipped and give you the opportunity to practice the skills that you need. And there'll be more about that later. But also our staff come highly qualified. They've got a wealth of industry experience. They've worked in the environment so they know the skills and the knowledge that you need and they'll pass that on to you to prepare you for the workplace or to go to university. But we know that college isn't just about the courses. Of course, that's an important part, but you are here to have some fun too. So getting involved in making the most outside of your classroom life is one of the things that we help you to do. You can take part in activities, there's volunteering, fundraising, and you can also join in with student social events. Plus, if you're interested in student governance, you can get involved and become a tutor rep and help to represent your views and the views of those in your class and pass that on to the college managers to help shape college life. As Pat mentioned, we have been investing in our campuses, both at Harrow on the Hill and Harrow Weald. And our Seacole building, which you can see on the screen at the bottom left, that's where the health and social care and childcare courses take place. So you'll be able to see a little bit more from some of the, the pictures in a moment. But we do like to continue to invest to make sure that our students are studying in well-equipped spaces and also have access to well-equipped classrooms. And in their most recent visit to us, Ofsted, who monitor the standards in education, back in July, they came, they came and visited the college and they did say that teachers have got high expectations for the learners and they help them to, to learn and to do well. They help them with any problems they might have. But also our students and apprentices are also very positive about their experience at the college as well, which is another important factor for us. So just before I hand over to Kelly, who's going to talk to you about the courses, just a welcome from our uh, a welcome video for the area. If you bear with me, enjoy. Hello, my name is Alexandra Mihaela and uh, I'm a student at Harrow College. I am a visually impaired student. So that's why I like it. So I did level one, two, and now I'm studying level three. I chose this uh, course because I love helping people because other people are helping me as well. The support that I get from the teachers is um, large print. I have a learning support and she tries to help me uh, with my assignments, with my work. So this is a special equipment who, which helps me to do my assignments because is everything in large. Also, I'm doing my work experience in a nursery, but in the future, I would like to work also with uh, children with visual impairment. That's just one of our students, Alexandra, who is giving you a flavour of what it's like to study within the subject area. So before we find out a little bit more about the course, it's just a welcome from our head of school, Claire. She says, it's great to hear that you're considering a health and social care or early years course at Harrow College. These courses are run from our newly refurbished Seacall building, which is based at our Harrow World campus. The outstanding facilities provide you with all you need to learn about the sector with industry specialist rooms that also enable you to practice your skills. She goes on to say that as a team, we're committed to ensuring that our learners are supported and that they are there to take forward their ambitious and exciting next steps. Many of the students will go on to university to further their learning and others will access employment in the early years, health and care, uh, health and social care sector. And the curriculum incorporates guest speakers from industry, including those from midwifery, nursing, and mental health workers. 
And you'll also carry out live assignment briefs designed by employers so you learn from genuine industry situations. So that just gives another bit of a flavour of the types of opportunities that you can expect within the health and social care and the childcare area. And I'm going to hand over to Kelly, who's going to give you more details about the courses. Over to you. Hello Kelly. there. Hi. So, hello there. My name is Kelly Ockley, and I'm the section manager for health and social care and childcare. Um, as Lucy has said, we have a wonderful uh, new building with specialist uh, facilities, and you can see some images there of our building and some of the things that we do. So we have um, a hospital suite, as you can see, where we have um, proper hospital beds um, and proper hospital facilities where we can do practical sessions. We also have a care suite, um, which is really set up like a care home. Uh, once again, where you can really learn practical skills of caring for older people. Um, at the bottom left you'll see um, there was a trip that we went to um, at Westminster, in Westminster uh, where we had some really um, interesting uh, speakers um, and we watched this debate that took place that was very uh, interesting around issues in health and care. Um, so it's a wonderful building where you can really learn about the subject of health and social care. Um, so we offer a range of courses uh, for health and social care at level one um, through to level two and level three. Um, at level three, you can study um, what we call a 60 credit diploma or a 90 credit diploma. And which one you do depends on your GCSE results. So when you come to enroll, we'll look at the results that you have and then we'll certainly be able to offer you at least uh, one of our courses, whether that be at level one, level two, or at level three. So on our courses, you'll learn a range of things. Um, some of our core units include uh, communicating effectively in health and social care, um, equality and diversity, development through the life stages where you learn about how somebody grows and develops, um, from birth through to um, the end of life effectively. Um, you study anatomy and physiology, sociology, psychology, um, so a whole range of, of subjects. And uh, you'll also develop a range of skills and will take part in a range of activities also. And these include things such as research and study skills. Um, you'll do group work as well as working independently. And you'll continue to develop your numeracy and literacy and your communication skills throughout the whole of your study. Um, in your lessons, uh, you'll, um, you'll have things like lectures, you'll take part in discussions, you'll do group and pair work, and lots of um, practical demonstrations and role play as well. On your course, particularly at level two and level three, you will attend a work placement in a health and social care setting, which will do one day a week for the duration of your course. Most of our students go on to university or into jobs in health and care or in childcare. Um, and they go on to study or work in places like hospitals, surgeries, um, nursing and care homes, um, or they study psychology, criminology, sociology, and so forth at university. So there's lots of options. So you saw Alexandra um, earlier talking about her experience at the college um, and she's given you a bit of a, a flavour of that already. So we offer health and social care, but we also offer courses in childcare and early years. And we offer once again, a whole range of levels uh, in these courses. Um, and that ranges from a level one adult course which is a part-time course and then a level two diploma in early years which is for 16 to 18 year olds and that's a full-time course. We also offer a range of courses in supporting and teaching and learning at level two and at level three um, and in addition to this we also have apprenticeships in early years also. 
So on your early years or childcare course, um, similarly to your um, uh, to our health and social care courses, um, you will develop a range of skills um, and you'll also do um, lots of hours in work placement. So our early years courses are a lot more practical, whereby you will be assessed in um, a, a work placement. So these are often in nurseries and schools and an assessor will actually come out and watch you working in that environment and assess your skills in that environment. And once again, this is in our hospital suite. So this is one of our learners who is uh, practicing caring for children um, or a young child in a, in a hospital setting. And I'll head back over to you, Lucy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Kelly. That's that's great. I think that just gives you a flavour of the range of courses. And, and as Kelly, Kelly said, from level one to level three, you can progress right the way through. And just gave you a couple of case studies there for our students just to, to uh, get an understanding of, of what our students think about their courses as well. So thank you for that, Kelly. Just on to some um, other information about the support available whilst you're at college. Um, you've obviously heard from the teaching side of things. You've got lots of support in the classroom. Our industry specialists who know the subject areas are there to give you that advice and to give you the, the, the tips, the knowledge that you need for your course. But there's also support available outside of the classroom as well. We have a careers advice and progression support team who are there to help you with any thoughts you might have about what course you might want to do next or what, what your next steps are after you finish college. And they are available to, to give you that help and advice and to support you to, to help with your progression. We also have a learning support team as well. So if there's any uh, difficulties, you have any needs or requirements, um, we do recommend it's best to talk to us about that as soon as you can, just so that we can help to start put that support in place for you and, and uh, help you to, to access that further. We also have personal and welfare support. We know that studying at college is not always easy. There are other things that, that can sometimes um, be important in our lives and we might need a bit of support with that. So our student services team can advise you and point you in the right direction for, for personal and welfare support as well. The same with financial support. Sometimes it can be a little bit expensive to study and we are there to be able to point you in the right direction, give you any advice on the advice that, and on the help that we can give you um, and make sure that you're supported. And as well as that, we also have academic support. So we want to make sure that you achieve. So if you're on your course and you're struggling or you need some support, make sure that you ask us for that because we can then help support you throughout your course. The message really is if there's anything you're worried about, don't keep it to yourself, share that with us, let us know before you start and also whilst you're on your course and we can help you from there. So you've heard a little bit about the courses, you might not be um, sure of which, which level to apply for or you might, might have applied already. But just to give you a bit of more information about how you can, can apply for your courses, you can apply for more than one course if you want to. Um, doing that online is the quickest and easiest way. If you go to the website www.harrow.ac.uk, you can select the courses that you're interested in and then on the course information you'll see an orange apply button. Once you've clicked that, that will take you through to our online application form and you can fill in some details uh, and then that's your application sorted. You can also log back in because you'll create an account when you do that so you can add any other information or update any details that you need to. Completing the form doesn't take very long at all. It's really easy to do so. And once you've submitted that, we'll be in touch with you to explain the next steps. At the moment, we're remotely working, so we're not interviewing on site, but we'll be in touch via telephone or email to let you know what happens next. And if you prefer to download the application form, that's available as well. So you can download that and post it or email it back to us. And as we said, you might need a little bit more information. You might be not sure whether or not you want the childcare route, the health and social care route, whether you start at level two or three, lots of information on the website, but if you do need more uh, details, then just get in touch because our careers team can help with that too. They can help you to make the right choice and guide you for the, the course that suits you best. At the moment, they are available on the telephone and via email. So you can give them a call on 0208 909 6000 or email them at inquiries at hcuc.harrow.ac.uk. As I said, they've got plenty of information to help you make the right choice for the course. And as we've said, the website's there as well.
In terms of enrolment, um, we usually start enrolling at the end of August, normally around the 20th of August. And again, uh, we'll be sending information out via the website and sharing that with applicants as well nearer the time. So that's everything that we had to share with you. I'll just leave you with a final thought that education is about an opportunity. So do get informed and get involved. And we're here to help you do that. Before we finish up, just a reminder of the inquiries address and also the telephone number. So if you do need, do need to get in touch with us, and we'll just open the floor to see if there are any uh, questions and answers that have come through. So I'll just check the chat for that. Nothing has appeared so far. So just remains to say thank you very much, Kelly, for coming along today and sharing the information about the courses that we have to offer. And thank you for joining us. And as I say, if there is anything else that you need, then please do get in touch using the contact details and wish you the best with your next steps. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.